Hydraulic disc brakes versus cable actuated disc brakes. Which one's better? And why should you choose one or the other? So we bought these two bikes about two years ago. Uh, we've burned through a set of brake pads. We've taken them downhill at Snow Summit using a ton of brakes on the way down. Sorry. And really had a chance to test them all. And uh, this is going to be controversial. Some of you are going to hate me and some of you are going to agree with me. So the reason for hydraulic brakes, people say, is that it requires less lever effort. Um, the hydraulics are a sealed system, so dirt can't get in there and gum it up, whereas on a cable, the dirt can get in your cable and, and jam it up, and they just run dirtier, and uh, you know all the moving parts are outside here, so if you ran through the mud, you'd get mud in there. So some of your decision is going to be based on where you ride and just how dirty you get. Uh, these are way higher maintenance. We've had a ton of problems with, with the hydraulic system on this one. It is a Shimano. You can see he's also crashed into some things. It's the, it's the system from Shimano that's so crappy that it doesn't, even, it doesn't even have a name on it. And then on this one, same deal. It's a Shimano kind of integrated with the shifters on your entry level bike. Out on the trail, I like the mechanical ones better because they work. They work all the time and they're consistent. You squeeze the lever and they break. Uh, eventually, as the pads wear down, this will get closer to the bar and you can just turn this little crank while you're on the trail to tighten it up and bring the lever action out further so you don't jam your fingers in between it. And when that gets too much, then you can just loosen this up and stretch the cable out. Uh, changing pads is about the same on both of them. But on this one, we found that they got spongy after a while. Like not, not even before the brake pads were worn out, they, they would get spongy and get weird and sometimes he'd be going downhill and just have no back brake. And then you'd have to squeeze and squeeze and squeeze and pump it up. Um, we had them bled a couple times. So I would say hydraulics are much higher maintenance and unless you're super downhill racer guy, I just prefer the mechanicals. And, and you can definitely lock up your rear wheel with this one or lock up your front wheel. So it's not like you don't have stopping power. You just need a little more power to pull the lever. Uh, how much power? Let's find out. We're going to use this uh, high-tech scientific device to gauge the lever pull on both of these bikes and see which is better. Because that's one of the main selling points is lever pull. But to be honest with you, you know, if you're a man and you have decent Popeye forearms, it doesn't matter, you know, a couple pounds of pressure one way or the other, uh, which one you're doing. If you're really, really super weak, then maybe it's going to make a difference. So on the hydraulic lever, I pull it until it engages. So my brakes are on just over six pounds. Let's say Let's say six and a half pounds of pressure to pull that lever tight and lock up the brakes. And on the low budget hardtail, full engagement is at, say, ten and a half pounds. So it's four and a half pounds, so four and a half pounds more lever effort. Do you feel that at the end of the day? Maybe, I get some arm pump in this one, but I imagine you get some arm pump on that one too. So if you're hammering down the hills all day, I guess it's gonna make a difference, especially if there's a lot of braking action like we get downhill. So my overall verdict, I like simplicity and I like reliability, and I don't wanna have my brakes just go out or all the juice squirt out of them and be totally stranded on the mountain, which could happen with the hydraulic brakes. So for my money, I would say save the money, don't go hydraulic, go with a mechanical brake setup. And there are some pretty good ones out there. This is not one of the best ones, but it works great. Uh, so I would say top end mechanical cable brakes, unless you ride in the mud all the time and you don't want your cables to get jammed up, then I think you have to go hydraulic.